Hi, I'm Lily. Today, I'm going to read you a story. You can say the sky is yellow. Ring it to level three. A. You can say the sky is yellow. Okay, let's read it. I am what I am. I am what I am. So he adjusted her lacy jacket. Her dad had purchased it from a department store, telling her how well she looked at it. The faces of Chimo, Hijin, and Eri, new friends at the school she had transferred to, flashed across her mind. The bankruptcy of her father's business has already has almost forced Swiss family into the streets. They were forced into a basement like one room living quarter in an undeveloped area. The room was small and the wallpaper was worn. So he couldn't accept the drastic changes to her family, a way of living. Not that long ago, Swiss so parents had bought whatever she wanted. But now, even with her mom working, they barely got by. So he recorded her classmate who had been excluded by others at the previous school. The previous school, previous school. Just alone, she had get. She had gotten along just fine with everyone until someone teased about her wearing the same shabby clothes at the time. After that incident, her classmates started to tease and bother her. My friends cannot find out about my situation. They just can't. Sui, Sui shook her head widely. On top of her current situation, she could not imagine being shunned by her classmates or and having to deal with that, that as well. Leaving home from school, she decided to hide her family's situation from her classmates. Hi, what a nice jacket! She met Ari on her way to school. Thanks. It's one. Of, it's one of many clothes just hanging in my closet. My dad can't leave a department store with without buying me an outfit. So he raised her shoulders as if nothing mattered. You're so lucky. Ari looked enviously as to he. All the changes waited up in her mind, but Sui just let it go. She comforted herself by pretending that things were still the same as before. So he tried hard not to feel intimidated, intimidated in the classroom too. When one classmate wore a new pair of friend brand name shoes, she remembered that she still had several pairs of brand name shoes tucked away in moving boxes. Swiss behavior made her classmates gather around her. Classmates took Sui for granted and expected her to always pay for their snacks. Even though Sui had to give up the money in her bank account when her mom asked for it, she still had the money in the piggy bank, which comforted her. So his friend, his school life continued without problems, except that she was running out of money in her piggy bank as she kept buying snacks for everyone. When she asked her mom for some money, her mom told her this a problem to, de to decrease her spending as they were short of money even for daily living expenses. But Sue's classmates were never passed the snack store without asking her to buy the cookie. But Whenever she got pocket change, she went to the snack store with her classmate. As usual, Suhi and some of her classmates were at the snack store after their gym class. They were having the foki. They were having the foki and the kimbap. One by one, her classmates left the snack shop to attend their after school activities. Suhi added my snack to the bill. When Suhi was about to pay, pay the bill. Ari held out some money. That's okay. I have enough money. Suhi paid the bill, busting loudly, and then walked away in a hurry. What is she doing? Why is she always smiling? Ari sighed on, on Suhi's mind. She worried that Ari might know her family's situation as her doubt grew stronger and even Eri's friendly smile seemed to be mocking her, so he tried to keep her feelings hidden while trudging and were trudging along troubled. She almost bumped into an older woman who was collecting waste paper. Oh, what are you thinking about so deeply? It's very hot, isn't it? 
irritated by the old woman talking to her, so he passed her without a word. Can can you wait for a moment? The old woman asked. The old woman entered the store, bought a yogurt drink, and handed it to Suhi. I don't want it. I have money. She was distressed, wondering if she looked poor to her. Don't get me wrong. I have a granddaughter like you. Sui kept going on her way without even looking at the drink. The woman, the woman held out. I'm not poor. Just my family is a difficult situation. For the time being, Sui's words. She worried about her mom by pestering her for money. But after she got home, she. Uh, but after she got them, she would probably spend it at snacks for her classmates. I think it's too much for you to pay it all. Ari held out her money again, not knowing what Suhi was thinking. Do I look like I don't have money to pay? Suhi snapped. Well, I didn't mean it that way. Ari looked embarrassed. If you don't mean it, get off your high horse. After throwing a fit, Suhi went home. She hoped her mom would warmly welcome her so that she could tell her about an uneasy, anxious day. But her mom came home late at night after work and collapsed fast asleep. As for dad, he had stayed at the home for a while, but her mom kept passing him to find work. He finally got employed as a driver on a company's daily van. Her dad said it was a fortunate for him to have the job. A few days before, a few days before, he had given Suhi a small bag, which was a free gift to promote one of his company's new products. I need new clothes and more pocket money. If what if my classmates learn about my family's situation? Heading to school, Suhi was depressed again, and being long, her fears become a reality. There's Suhi now. Ask her, ask her whether or not I'm lying. Jimo said, pointing at Suhi, who was just entering the classroom. Her eyes were on Suhi. Surprised, Suhi froze on the spot. What's going on? Suhi asked, forcing herself to pretend nothing was wrong. Is your dad a driver for Jimo's dad's company? He Jin asked. Is that the company that's working for? Sui thought herself. Suhi recorded him saying something about being employed as driver for a delivery man. Tells your dad is a driver, Jimo said. A fear of fear David. Jimo said a fear of fear David. Of Bar tablet. Okay, let's see it. Your dad, dad is a driver. driver. She must said affirmatively. affirmatively. Everyone held their breath, waiting for Sui's answer. Hey guys, why does it matter to you? To you, what kind of work Sui said does? The important thing is that her dad works hard. That is what my grandma always says. I always agree with my grandma. It was Ari who broke the silence. You're right, but Suhi acted like she was very rich, Hyejin said. I also thought her family was very rich, but her dad is just a driver at my dad's, at my dad's company. I was very surprised, Jimo said sarcastically. You mean that we're Ford buyer? Empty vessels make the greatest sound. The, st the students started to make a commotion. Sui's face flushed red. My dad is the president of a big company. He's the president. The president! So he yelled, flopping down into a chair, burying her face in her hands on the desk. How she reached, she could turn the clock back to the time before her, her dad's business had failed. Jimo, were you bluffing just now? No, I heard it directly at my dad's office when I dropped by yesterday. Then, who is telling a lie? There was penetrated lip into Suhi's ears. No matter how hard she tried not to hear them, their voices were loud, as if they were speaking into a microphone. Suhi couldn't remember how she managed to make it, though. 
the rest of the school day. As soon as she came home, she put a blanket over her head and burst into tears that she had held back or die. But Prince Lancelot said dinner, it was dead. So he pretended not to hear him curling up like a neck. Snail, it's been ages since I've been home only to have dinner together. Her dad made the silly stand up by putting his hands behind her neck. Dad, when can we go back to where we used to live? I don't like any of the kids here. So he didn't want to remember anything about what had happened at school. She wanted to tell her dad to quiet as, uh, quiet as a driver for Jimmo's dad's company, but she couldn't bear to do it because she knew how hard it had been for him to get the job. I know you're having a hard time adjusting the sudden changes of our situation, but let's try to be patient, her dad said in a sad tone. Oh, Dad, please don't mention my name anywhere. I never mentioned your name anywhere. Dad, you must have mentioned my name somewhere because my classmates heard. Oh, I just remembered to receive the free gift from the company. I needed to tell your, tell them your name. But what's wrong with the father telling his daughter's name? Though her dad spoke with a smile, his expression looked a bit frightened. So he felt bitter to look to see her dad look at the way she also he also seemed to miss the old times when so he went to school the next day all of her classmates except Ariel voted her as if she had done something terribly wrong Harry smiled as Suhi went there, eyes smack. But Suhi couldn't like her thinking that Harry already knew about her situation but was just pretending otherwise. Suhi was on cleaning duty after class and she was silently cleaning the classroom. As the other students on cleaning duty, on cleaning, cleaning duty, duty. Uh, snuck away, she ended up cleaning the classroom alone. Then Harry came to the classroom with a warm smile on her face. Harry started helping Suhi clean the classroom. Do I look pathetic to you? Suhi asked coldly. Not at all, Harry answered shortly, lying at the desk in straight rows. Then why are you sneering at me? Suhi long, Suhi's long, Hard word feelings came pouring out. I always feel it from you. Why always? Why aren't you always more honest with yourself? Your problem is you're trying to be pretentious. That's why I felt sorry for you. So I wanted to I wanted to just believe you even when you persisted persisted to say that the sky is yellow while the others say it is blue. Don't you need a friend like that? Why? What makes you think you're better? What a nasty girl. So he mumbled and left the classroom, wearing her backpack, leaving Harry behind alone. So he couldn't stop crying. But the following day, so he was surprised when she heard the news about Harry. Did you hear that Harry is going to stay at her aunt's house? Her grandma is so sick that she has to go into a nursing home. She has taken care of Harry by collecting waste paper all this time. Her grandma used to buy us yogurt drinks whenever she saw us. Yes, she did. If Harry lives, you're going to really miss her. How could she live without saying anything? They say her grandma was suddenly told she would enter the nursing home this morning. So yesterday, Eric came back after school to say farewell to the teachers. Her clean, her cleaned the classroom yesterday. Eric helping her, she thought of Eric helping her clean the classroom yesterday. She got choked up and her eyes ached with tears. I didn't know about that. So he had also seen the grandma who was collecting waste papers. She usually took kind say hello to Suhi with a smile on her face, buy her, buy her yogurt drink, and speak proudly of her granddaughter. Suhi glanced down at the watch as if it was still morning to study hall. Suhi thought she could make it back before the first class if she hurried. Suhi hurried out of the classroom. 
on the cross when they went to the supermarket where Eric's grandma used to buy yogurt drinks. Excuse me, mom, you know the old woman who collects the waste paper? Do you know where she lives? Of course I do, but I heard that she's going to a nursing home. I saw the ambulance go by just a minute ago. Go that way and you will see it. She pointed in the direction of the hill, so he gave a bow and the thanks and went back to the home, back, back to her home to put her jacket into the shopping bag. Then she went toward the hill where a group of small houses huddled together. Ari, Ari, push me there. In her breath and and with trembling legs, she she almost flopped down when the ambulance finally came into sight. Ari's grandma was climbing into the ambulance with the support of others. Ari stood beside her. Ari, so he choked up. Class should be starting soon. Why are you here? Ari's eyes were wide with surprise. I need a friend who can trust me, even though I possess the sky's yellow. Thanks to you. And I will set my situation as well as it is. I've just realized that you're my true friend. But if you leave, what about me? So you should. Suhi shed tears. Grandma told me about a family that had moved into this town recently. At first, I didn't know what that what family was. The family was yours. I found that out later. I knew exactly how you felt because I felt the same when I started living with Grandma after losing my parents in an accident. But after I decided to accept the situation just as it was, I felt a lot better. Every spoke calmly. You gave a big present, but I have not. I have nothing to give you. So he held out a shopping bag. Isn't this the jacket that looks good, good on you? That's why I'm giving you this jacket to you, though it is not you. I wanted to express my appre appreciation to you. No, you don't have to. I can always feel, already feel it. Every hugged Suhi with tears in her eyes. Every showed a warm heart to Suhi again, even when it was time for her to live. On her way back to the school, Suhi realized that she had been too discouraged. Thanks, Ari. From now on, I will stick out my chest with confidence. As now, as soon as Suhi entered the classroom, she stood in front of her classmates. I have something to tell you. Something to tell all of you. Are you going to lie again? We are not interested in what you have to say. The student reported cordially. I was wrong. I cannot accept my changed reality caused by dad's business failure, but now I realize I was stupid. From now on, I'll accept my situation just as it is. So I hope you all stop hating me and good and see the good side of me. So he told them earnestly, what the sudden change? Everyone wondered. I have a true friend who will believe me even though I persist that the blue sky is yellow. What? A yellow sky? Are you dizzy now? One classmate, one classmate asked. I, I've never heard it before, but I know it means to be deliberately than the truth of what she said. What, she, what was said? And another classmate said another classmate, what are you saying? It doesn't make sense. Yet another classmate said. The classmates talked noisily as if they had found something interesting. Oh, wait a minute. As they found something interesting. But so he felt nothing but piss of mind. Bye!